Welcome to another episode of Historical Highlights of St. Bernard Parish. I'm Bill Hyland. I'm the historian of St. Bernard, and it's my pleasure today to bring you to Verretteville. In 2021, Verretteville will celebrate its 150th anniversary. It was founded in 1871 to provide for a transition of formerly enslaved people from a slave society to a self-sustaining society, a transition from being enslaved to freedom. This is a very significant settlement in our parish, and the fact that it survives to the present is a remarkable phenomenon in the 21st century. Samuel Smith, a freed and slave person, founded the village of Verretteville and its first Baptist church. We had always heard of the oral tradition here at First Baptist Church concerning the original founder of the church, Samuel Smith. And the oral tradition was that he was in fact, had been born into slavery and worked on a sugar plantation here in St. Bernard, which was in uh, Florissant. It was the Proctor Plantation. And that during the uh, Civil War, that he ran away and joined the Union Army. Then after the war, he returned back home, back to the slave quarters in Florissant. There, the oral tradition says that he developed and worked and formed a Christian faith community amongst the freed, formerly enslaved African Americans. My great-grandfather, Elder Sam Smith Sr. Uh, he founded this church in the uh, year of 1871 down at the Florissant Plantation. That's where he started that. And uh, with just a few people. And uh, in later years, during the early 20s, I don't know exactly, but during the early 1920s, they purchased this property and moved the church from there. Every child just about in Verrett, this building used to be all, almost filled with just children, young teenagers and little children in class on a Sunday morning. That's right. There's so many good members, and uh, even though a lot of a lot of the people have passed on, even many a lot of that I grew up with have passed on. The, the generation before our time, many of them left here and they moved in the city. But this church meant so much to them, they never moved their membership. Every Sunday, they would make their way down here. Every Sunday. It meant just that much to them. And uh, even the generation now, of course, it's not as many as it used to be, because nowadays, a lot of people really don't appreciate what the sacrifices that was made back during the days for us to be where we are and to be blessed the way we're being blessed. But yet the memory, the memory still lingers and it still means a lot to them. But uh, this, build, this, this property and this village, uh, it's a jewel. We cherish it, yes. It means everything to us. Today, the church and cemetery remain a testament to the rich cultural heritage of the village. Descendants of freed and slave people who originally settled in the community still reside in Verretteville. They continue the farming tradition of their ancestors brought here from Africa. Settlements such as Verretteville enable the successful transition of formerly enslaved people from being enslaved to freedom. These settlements are very rare throughout the South and that one remains intact in St. Bernard Parish is remarkable. Verretteville constitutes a priceless legacy of community, culture, and faith. And it's something that we in St. Bernard Parish need to celebrate. <laughs>